Differing political opinions, advice from a presidential advisor, and of course, the ex-president has something to say on the matter. Keep watching to find out the news about the infamous political power couple, the Conways. 22 years after saying their I do's, Kellyanne Conway, who formerly served as an advisor to Donald Trump during his presidency, is set to divorce her husband, George Conway. According to the Washington Post, Kellyanne and George first met in the 90s after they were introduced by a friend. Upon their introduction, the pair started hanging and soon fell in love. Kellyanne reportedly once told a friend, I find that his near constant presence doesn't annoy me. And so, in 2001, when the couple got married, it only seemed right. Together, Kellyanne and George welcomed four children while working their way up to political prominence. But despite their long-term marriage and individual successes, the most fascinating aspect about this union is their stark difference in political views. While Kellyanne is an avid Trump supporter, obviously, George has never been one to hide his disdain for the former president. Still, these two always found a way to make it work. Kellyanne once said of her husband's support during Trump's 2016 campaign, I couldn't have done this without him. Things, however, took a turn for the couple when George started a feud with Trump, and soon enough, it became clear that their marriage was falling apart. George once confessed to the Washington Post, If there's an issue, it's because she's in that job, for that man. I'm just saddened by how things turned out. Things apparently only got worse from that point onward, and now, Kellyanne and George have finally decided it's time to let go. As reported by Page Six, both Kellyanne and George have hired lawyers to sort through the divorce proceedings. Despite the news of their divorce, neither Kellyanne nor George has yet to confirm the split. One person who has lent his voice to the purported separation, however, is former President Donald Trump, who took to his Truth Social platform to congratulate Kellyanne. Trump wrote, Congratulations to Kellyanne Conway on her divorce from her wacko husband, Mr. Kellyanne Conway. Free at last, she has finally gotten rid of the disgusting albatross around her neck. She is a great person and will now be free to lead the kind of life that she deserves. And it will be a great life without the extremely unattractive loser by her side. This, of course, is not the first time Trump has thrown jabs at George over the years. In 2019, the former president called George a, quote, stone-cold loser and husband from hell, according to the Washington Post, while also implying that he was only envious of Kellyanne's successful career. Trump has also, in the past, alluded that the famous lawyer suffers from a mental illness. Trump wrote in 2022, according to The Independent, I don't know what Kellyanne did to him, but it must have been really bad. She has totally destroyed this guy. His mind is completely shot. Others connected to Kellyanne and George Conway knew they were in trouble, especially people in the White House. In her 2022 memoir, Here's the Deal, Kellyanne wrote that Ivanka Trump suggested marriage counseling. Kellyanne wrote, Ivanka came into my office, which was next to hers, and handed me a post-it note. It had the names of two local doctors who specialized in couples therapy. Kellyanne added that it was thoughtful of Ivanka to pass the note by hand, avoiding any potential leaks should the information have been sent electronically. But the effort was in vain. Kellyanne admitted she and George never ended up seeking out counseling, and she added a little dig at George. She said, He spent his time exactly how he wanted to. If it was important to him, he would have made it happen. There was also tension at home, as their daughter, Claudia Conway, made her national debut on American Idol and, thanks to her parents' fame, garnered a huge following on social media. To her many followers, Claudia announced that her parents were abusive toward her, both physically and verbally, and in August 2020, she announced on Twitter that she was seeking emancipation. Both parents jumped into high gear. Kellyanne left the White House that month, and George stepped down from the Lincoln Project. While things were patched up between Claudia and her parents, it seemed to be too much for Kellyanne and George to withstand.